Okay, in this video we'll take a quick look at Slack stateless address auto configuration for IPv6 and like IPv4 there are a number of different ways that a host can be addressed uh, in IPv6. The two most common of course in IPv4 that you're familiar with are static addressing and DHCP. Often the reason that engineers use DHCP is that it provides a method of dynamically assigning addresses but it also provides a way to assign host devices other service information like DNS servers, domain names, and a number of other uh, custom information. We're just going to take a look at the assignment of an address using Slack uh, in conjunction with EUI64. How do, does the PC go about obtaining a uh, address, whether it be link local or whether it be a global unicast? So let's get started real quick. Basically, what I've done here is I'm going to show you how it uses what are called router advertisements. So I'm going to set the router to FoxEZ80 colon colon 1, which is a link local address. And I'm going, to, I'm going to statically assign that to the router. And this is the GIG G00 interface. On the PC, however, I'm going to allow it to do Slack, and it's going to use EUI64. So if we look at the PC right away, at first glance, you'll see that auto configuration is turned on. And I do indeed have a link local address, Fox Easy 80 uh, colon colon shows that uh, the first 64 uh, bits of this address are link local. And then if you'll notice the Fox, Fox, Fox Easy right in the middle here, that is the process that we use for EUI64. We take the 48-bit MAC address and insert Fox, Fox, Fox Easy into the middle of that MAC address. And then we flip the seventh bit. Um, and all in all, that becomes a 64-bit host identifier that we can use in conjunction with the link local network identifier or even in conjunction with the global unicast uh, network identifier. So if you'll notice though right now uh, the host has already configured a, a link local address. This will happen regardless of whether it is connected uh, to a router that's servicing the PC turned on as long as the NIC card is up and operational and IPv6 is enabled it will assign itself a link local address. But link local doesn't give us a default gateway um, and it doesn't really give us a way to route our packets outside of this single local link. This host right now, once it's configured itself with a link local address, it will then begin to send out what are called router solicitation messages. Those router solicitation are looking for a router that is listening uh, that could be potentially announcing itself as a default gateway for IPv6. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is get to our router and set up some basic things to support IPv6. We're going to go to global config mode and issue IPv6 unicast routing. This will enable v6 packets to be routed across global unicast or unique local uh, networks. Uh, in this case, we only have one uh, particular global unicast we're going to deploy here. But if you were doing this in the real world, of course, you would want to be routing from one global unicast network out to other uh, global networks in IPv6 and enabling unicast routing enables the router to build routing tables for IPv6. IPv4 of course is turned on by default. Some other common commands that you're going to need to know would be the show IPv6 uh, route. That's how we show the IPv6 route table and you'll notice that right now every the only route that's in there is a host route or a link local route of Fox Fox zero zero um, slash eight. That's a, a large range. It's basically covering all of the multicast and it's sending any kind of multicast messages that it may receive at this point to null zero. So it's basically the bit bucket throws it away. Uh, show IPv6 interface will show you any interfaces that are enabled for IPv6. None are at this time. Uh, as well as show IPv6 interface brief. Same commands that we use for um, IPv4. Just make sure that you remember you have to specify you're looking at IPv6 information. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is get on the uh, gigabit 00, zero interface, which is the interface we have connected to the switch. Interface GI0 slash 0, and we're going to give it a link local address first. IPv6 FE80 colon colon 1, specify that it's link local. 
And of course you have to say, just like with IPv4, IPv6 address, FE80. Now if we do show IPv6 interface brief, we should have a link local, and we do, FE80. If we show IPv6 interface, we'll get even more information. And you'll notice that this router is now listening to the all nodes broad, uh, multicast address for um, IPv6, which is a link local, all nodes on the local network segment is what this multicast is for. But then there's a special one here that this router only is listening to. Regular hosts would not join this particular multicast group, FoxFox02 colon colon 2. That's the all routers on a local network segment. So we've set this router up for basic link local activity. And if we go to the PC right now and we pull, we, we could just change it from static to auto config. The auto config is the stateless address auto configuration. You'll notice it does have its link local address, but no IPv6 default gateway is defined at this point. If we go to a command prompt, however, and we do a ping um, FE80 colon colon one, you'll notice we do get a response back from the router. So as far as link local, link local is up and working. But we want to go one step further and enable this router to begin advertising a global unicast network prefix. All we have to do, IPv6 address, put a global address on it, 2001db8 colon ACAD colon colon 1 with a 64 network bit mask. If we do a recall now on that interface, Again, we're still advertising on the FoxFox02, and now if we take a look at the PC again and reinstate its auto config, you'll notice it pulls a network address, uses the uh, EUI64 to create its host identifier, um, and it used uh, sent out a router solicitation message, and the router answered back with the um, network portion of the address so that we get a full 168 bit or 128 bit uh, IPv6 address. We also pull the default gateway which it is using the link local address um, for its default gateway even when we're routing with global unicast addresses. The FoxFox02 colon colon 2 is unique to the router and that means he is listening for router solicitation messages and he's also sending out router advertisement messages. Again, using the EUI64 format, which takes the uh, PC's 48-bit MAC address and inserts Fox, 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 Easy into the middle, flips the seventh bit, right, which causes, when we can take a look real quick and see what this PC's um, NIC address is, burned in address is, by doing an IP config all, and you'll notice it is 0003, right? So if you look down here, you can see that the IPv6 address that's been assigned is 203, right? The reason why it's not 003 is because the seventh bit was flipped in the first zero in the 48-bit uh, MAC address resulting in that first zero becoming a two in the actual host identifier. But you can notice that the rest of these 48-bit hexadecimal characters are the same except for right in the middle where we've placed the Fox, 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 easy. Okay, so now we have a PC that is not only capable of talking to other PCs within its same local link, but it's also capable of talking to uh, other PCs in other global networks um, and outside of its own link. So that's Slack, stateless address auto configuration using EUI64. Again, once we turn on the uh, IPv6 unicast routing on the router, it joins that group that begins sending out router solicitations. The PC is already sending out router, excuse me, the router sends out router advertisements and the PC is already um, sending out router solicitations looking for a router that it can use for a default gateway once it is indeed capable of being 
assigned um, or it does a assign itself a global unicast address in the same method. Hope this was helpful and we'll pick it back up on another video.